Welcome back to Wizard PhD. It's Professor Lana, and today I am telling you all the details for Brilliant Event Part 1, Dumbledore's Army, in November for Wizards Unite. Thank you to the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team for providing me with early information so I can provide you with all of the details. Let's read the post. It says, Witches and Wizards help return brilliant foundables from the Hog's Head during part one of the Dumbledore's Army brilliant event starting Tuesday, November 3rd at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So again, this Tuesday coming up. The brilliant foundables featured during this event can be found in the following locations. We have Portrait of Ariana Dumbledore from Wizarding Challenges, Goat from Brilliant Port Keys, Dumbledore's Army sign-up sheet from Task, Brilliant Lee Jordan as an encounter and Brilliant Neville Longbottom as an encounter. We know this, but Brilliant Port Keys for this event will be one and a half kilometers. Part one will give you part one rewards if you pick it up during that time window. Part two Port Keys will give you part two rewards if you pick up during that time window. We also have a complimentary store pack that includes six Baneberry, four Bulble Dox Juice, four Angel's Trumpet, two Arumpin Horn, and 25 Spell Energy. Keep an eye out for bonus assignments that will be in game after the main task have been completed. Additionally, if you're interested in purchasing some bundles, we have a premium store pack with five silver keys, 100 spell energy. You can buy up to five times for 450 gold. You can also buy another premium store pack with four Barufio's Brain Elixir, six Ponenix Stimulo, three Tonic for Trace Detection, 30 spell energy. You can buy that up to two times for 760 gold. And finally, after you complete the task, and you're on the bonus for our epilogue, you can purchase a bundle that has four Barufio's Brain Elixirs, 15 Potent Extimulo, that's a ton of potents, five silver keys and 150 spell energy up to two times for purchase for 2100 gold. Page one, we have collect ingredients or portmanteaus two times from the map. We've seen this before. Seeds seem to count. I think water counts as well. Spell energy counts. Pick things up off the map and you will have that count for two a rumpant horn as the reward. We also have brew two tonic for trace detection potions. Oh man, I think I need to stock up on some of those ingredients. You'll get some for the complimentary gift, but if you can brew these in advance or have them queued up for you to collect at the start of the event, that would be most efficient. You'll get one powdered dragon claw as the reward there. We also have returned 10 Brilliant Lee Jordan. That's one of the two encounters we'll see for the Brilliant Foundables for two invigoration drafts. Interesting. Two of them, okay. And if you complete that full first page, you'll get 550 Wizarding XP, 50 Brilliant Family XP, two restricted section books, and 10 spell energy. Moving on to page two, we have earn 7,000 Wizarding XP from Traces. Be sure to get your Barufio. So actually this works hand in hand. So we have collect five Brilliant Dumbledore's Army runestones. Uh, you'll get six snowdrop there. And then also use two Barufio's Brain Elixir. So Put a Barufio's on when you're on page two. That'll be your first one. That'll help you when you're returning traces to earn that 7,000 wizarding XP. And uh, you're gonna get a silver key actually from the 7,000 wizarding XP and one dark detector from using two Barufio's. Okay, okay. And then uh, the collecting of the brilliant Dumbledore's army runestone. So what you wanna do is before you get to page two, don't click on your registry. So you're gonna want all of that to queue up so you have the accumulation of your Brilliant Family XP. So when you get to this page on page two, you can open your registry and all of that will register and unlock the treasure trunks on the Brilliant page so you can get those rune stones. So you wanna get five of those rune stones. For all of that on page two, you're gonna get 750 Wizarding XP, 75 Brilliant Family XP, three Restricted Section Books, and 10 Spell Energy. Keep going, page three, we have returned 15 Brilliant Neville Longbottom for three Leaping Toadstools. We also have Brew Any Seven Potions for four Ginger Root. And I, I've already made this comment before, Ginger Root is just not something I ever need ever, but that's okay. Um, you wanna queue up your potion, so I'm probably, let's see, I don't know. I feel like I'll probably be okay slowing down on page three. So I'll have my potions queued up. 
I'll have uh, my spots to be brewing. So I might have four potions ready by the time I start. I don't know if that's the most efficient. If you have a different strategy, let me know in the comments down below. But I'll have my four potions, my two trace tonic and two other ones. So I'll claim the two trace tonic at the beginning. So I'll have two to still claim and then I'll have to queue up more potions. And if you wanna use gold, you can rent the gold cauldron and help that go a little bit quicker for you. My recommendation if you need to go faster is to use the shortest brew time of potions that you have ingredients for. So for me, that's gonna be either the healing potion or the regular extimulo potion. All right, so if you complete that, the four ginger root, then we have used five potions in wizarding challenges for one hermit crab shell. And if you complete everything on page three, you'll get 1250 wizarding XP, 75 brilliant family XP, five restricted section books, and 10 spell energy. Going back to the five potions and wizarding challenges, you know, honestly, I'll probably just use the two invigoration that they gave me. Maybe some wit sharpening. I don't know, I have some potions that I need to dump in wizarding challenges. So I'll probably use those invigorations for sure that they give us in the earlier reward. So that might work out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Finally, page four, we have complete five wizarding challenges with three or more teammates for one spell book. We have defeat 25 enemies in wizarding challenges for another spell book. We have earn 4250 wizarding XP from challenges. What a specific number. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a nice like a quarter of a thousand. So 250 is a quarter of a thousand, but uh, interesting number, like not 5,000, but 4,250. So again, if you want to use your Barufios, I have a ton of Barufios in my potion vault. I'm probably going to be using it while I'm doing wizarding challenges with three or more teammates and alongside defeating those em enemies alongside in the wizarding challenges. So that last one is for two spell books. That's a total of four spell books on this page. If you complete everything on page four, you'll get one Dumbledore's Army sign up sheet. That is for the brilliant one. Uh, we'll also get five restricted section books, five defense against the dark arts books, 50 coins and 30 spell energy. So I think I am fairly certain that this month I'll be able to unlock the gold gift reward. I think I'm at 80 defense against the dark arts books. I think I only need 20. So if I'm getting 10 for this brilliant part one and 10 for a brilliant part two, I think that I'll be able to just unlock the note and maybe send some of y'all some gold gifts. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Finally, on the bonus page, we have place five images on Brilliance Hogshead registry page for one spell book. Oh no. <laughs> this is the one where we have to like wait to place. I feel like it's a little frustrating to wait to place things. I know it's part of the strategy, but it, it, it kind of hangs everything up. And it's doubly frustrating for me during brilliant events because I'm like, I want to see what the dialogue says, you know? So I'm going to say if my Lee Jordan, my Neville, will have the Dumbledore's Army sign-up sheet by then. What else? Oh, and then the Wizarding Challenges. That'll be four. So I guess if I can try to rack up runestones, I'll get a fifth. Or if you're walking port keys this whole time, your brilliant port keys, that might be another way to get that fifth fragment so that you can get all those uh, port key fragments. Okay, so place five images. We'll give you one spell book. Earn 12,500 wizarding XP from anywhere. It can be challenges, it can be from traces, it can be from opening gifts. Regardless, be sure your Barufios is on so you can get that double or more XP for any source, any source of XP for one more spell book. Win highest chamber unlocked one time for lots of us, that's the dark five for one witch sharpening potion. So hang out with us in live streams, meet up with your local groups, meet over Discord. You can, you can get this done. We can help. Everyone wants everyone to finish this task. So let us know, we can help you out there. We also have use any 10 extimulo in wizarding challenges for 10 spell energy. And I won't get into this task in full detail about my critique about this, but we have been using extimulo potions in challenges for quite a few events lately. And I know that it's not popular. It's not popular with me, but this is something that um, is part of the bonus. <laughs> I will be dumping my regular extimulo potions because it's the least number of casts that I have for an extimulo potion. 
Um, I can go cycle through it pretty quickly. Um, it's I'm just not a super fan of this task, let alone using 10 in a wizarding challenges, but you know, it is what it is. And finally, unlock five portmanteaus for one silver key. And if you complete the bonus page, you will get 2,000 wizarding XP, 100 brilliant family XP, five Defense Against the Dark Arts books, one special title, and 20 spell energy. Notice how I didn't say when you complete the bonus, you'll get the five fragments for the brilliant goat because that was taken out. This is not something, we've seen that before previously, that if you complete the bonus, you'll get the port key fragments, the five that you need. And that was great for a variety of reasons for uh, you know being able to finish that piece to place it in the registry without having to walk five port key portmanteau that are brilliant. But it seems that you need to, for this unlock five portmanteau is my recommendation, if you need to, if you're only planning on unlocking five portmanteaus on this bonus page, I recommend that that be bonus. Now, if you want, and you want to walk the portmanteau, the brilliant portmanteaus during the other pages, and you can get that, like I said, you can use that goat to place for one of your five on page four, but then you're gonna have to walk five other port keys. So it depends on how much time and um, how often you're gonna be walking around and the distance you're gonna cover, so you can make that decision for yourself. You tell them you screamed in my ear? He screamed in my ear. And if you want a special pet hoodie for your pet, just like Winnie, be sure to check out my Teespring store. But that's not what I'm talking about. To interrupt this, I want to bring your attention to special assignments. There's little descriptors for these brilliant events. Uh, for part one, Dumbledore's Army part one, it says, Harry creates a surge using his memories of Dumbledore's army in order to combat the Calamity's dark turn. Yeah. That seems good, Harry. Like, are you kidding me? You're raising up these memories of an army, of Dumbledore's army specifically, so you can de defeat the darkness of the... Cl what kind of logic is that, bro? But will his efforts be enough to keep the mysterious forces at bay? We know the answer to that question. And then part two says, elements of an unknown surge continue to bleed into Harry's. What? <laughs> Who is the dark witch or wizard responsible and why are they trying to manipulate the calamity? This is the one with Dobby in it too. I mean, I don't know. I feel like the calamity, the calamity has always been out of control, but now it seems like it's really, really out of control in terms of someone is trying to use it for something and that's worse than the original Calamity? I don't know. That's all the information I have for you today about Brilliant Event Part 1 with Dumbledore's Army. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this event or how you're planning to prepare, what your strategy is gonna be as you work through these pages, and of course, be sure to check me out on the live stream when this event starts so that we can hang out and see how things go, just spend some time together, and I don't know, have fun. Thank you again to the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team for providing me with this early information so I can share with all of you. And until next time, wands ready.